Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Hira, a PhD student at Oxford, and I'm making the most comprehensive PhD application guide ever to get you onto a competitive PhD program of your choice. So we're talking about personal statements in this series. If you haven't checked out the playlist, do check it out over here. I'll link it in the bubble. So today we're gonna to talk about the opening paragraph of a personal statement, which really sets the scene, and it's the place where you actually capture their attention. So I would recommend really having something very eye-catchy in the beginning. So I put actually my greatest failure ever uh, on as the first line. You'd think that that's kind of a, a paradox, but actually what I did was I, because of the failure, I then was able to show how I overcame that failure and then achieved the biggest achievement of my life. And I'll read you through it if you keep watching this video. The first paragraph is also really important to introduce yourself, tell them why you're applying to this program, why you're interested in this field, why you're applying to a PhD, uh, what makes you a good candidate. So it's really a lot to say in this first paragraph, but you can give them just a gist of who you are and you can elaborate uh, on this first paragraph later on. If you've written a research paper or a thesis before, you can think of the first paragraph as sort of the abstract and then the rest of the personal statement, you elaborate your abstract. So when you're writing your opening paragraph, think of the following questions. Why do you want to do a PhD? What is your motivation for applying for a PhD? These are quite similar. Why are you applying for a PhD in this field? That can be very broad, for example, the field of biology or physics, or you can talk about your field in specific. What are your future career goals after your PhD? So introduce that a little bit. Why are you interested in research in, in general? What makes you different from other PhD applicants? What makes you really, what is that one thing that you've achieved in your life so far? What was your, your biggest uh, achievement? Or, or what is that really important thing about you that sets you apart that they should know? Just just keep that in mind to put in, in the first paragraph. Think about how you're going to capture their attention right from the start. So you'll see how I answered all of these questions in just the first paragraph of my PhD personal statement. I hope you learn something from this video. If you do, uh, give it a like and do let me know in the comments how you found it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do that so you can stay up to date with the personal statement series, after which we're gonna move on to interviews and CV writing and other really important aspects of PhD applications. I know it's sort of applying season, so um, I hope these videos have come at the right time for you. Uh, stay tuned and take care. Now we're gonna start going through my personal statement. Um, and I had, I think about five paragraphs. Um, and so the first one, I usually, for all of my personal statements, I usually like to open with a sort of um, a slightly eye-catching statement or something that, you know, it just captures their attention. And so it doesn't al always have to be like that, obviously. A lot of people just say, you know, why they want to apply or I'm applying to this because, um, but, you know, this is just, it was my way of doing it. So. I started saying, I started by saying before I started my A-levels, most schools refused to admit me onto the program because they deemed good grades unachievable with my non-GCSE background. So, you know, it's like, oh, this person has been refused from schools. What is happening? So it kind of catches their attention. And then I say that at the end of the two years, I obtained not only three A-stars, but also, you know, five um, awards, two of which were the highest marks in the world at physics in 2013 and 2014, where at least 10,000 students sat each exam worldwide. So it is an achievement, but it's a relevant achievement. And that is why I included it, because it shows that I have the capacity for sustained work because I didn't have a GCSE background. And so I was being refused from school, but I, but I had that persistence and I had that uh, sustained work ability, which you know they asked for in, in their requirements. Um, then I said, through A-level physics, I developed skills such as critical thinking, interrelating concepts, and applying my knowledge to solve unfamiliar problems. All of these are skills for the PhD. So, you know, specify, specify those skills very clearly. Um, then this along with my interest in molecular mechanisms of disease and a wish to make a difference in patients lives made me realize that a career in research was what I wished to pursue. So already in the first paragraph I've answered their question of why do I want to do a PhD and it's because I have this interest 
in, in molecular mechanisms. And I, what I want to do with it is, you know, have an impact on patients' lives. And that's when I realized that a career in research was my way of doing that. To me, a PhD is an opportunity to immerse myself in a scientific question that captures my interest, contribute substantially to the field, and drive improvements in patient care. And it is, of course, a pathway into a research career, which I'm passionate to pursue. Looking back onto it, I think, well, patients' lives, patient care, that's kind of repetitive. I could have maybe done without that. Um, and then pathway into research career, I've mentioned here and here. So there's a bit of repetition. Um, I would probably uh, tell myself not to do that. But anyway, so this line gives them more detail on why a PhD. And it also un demonstrates an understanding of what a PhD is, you know, an, an opportunity to immerse yourself in a scientific question and to contribute to the field, you know. So this first paragraph, and as you can see, every single line tells them something new about me um, and hopefully conveys more messages across. 